Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another review vid from PDMK30. So, just gonna back up a little bit here. Uh, let me see if I can just readjust this slightly. Maybe just want to get a better angle here. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. Apologies. All right, that, that should be good. Hey, long time no see, guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as I said, PMKF30 here. You know, it's been forever since I made uh, a full video like this or a video in general. Just been dealing with some personal health issues, unfortunately. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, so I've been really excited for this video. Well, first off, I just want to say a few things here. Take the shirt. If you like it, which Chuck you like more, let me know in the comments. And this is from, yeah, my SMS, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Fright Rags, their new Halloween hat, 1981, H2, the original Halloween 2. So tell me what you think about that. Cool design, I'll review that in another video. But, uh, yeah. So, let's get to it. So, what I'm really excited for is that today, I have really big surprise for you, and that is <laughs> well. You'll see. I don't want to ruin it. Well, what am I talking about? The title of the video is going to give it away anyway. So yeah, the new plus Chucky from. Trick or Treat Studio. Also, forgive me if, I'm, if I sound a little like off, slow. It's uh, actually like 10 to 5 in the morning, so I'm having some sleeping issues lately, so I figured why not do it now, right? Studios. So this is the. Uh, he does it come in a box, unfortunately. So it's really cool. Uh, let's get this off of it. Smells good, like plasticky. You know. All right. So the hairnet off. The five hundred doll came also with the hairnet. I think they all did actually. All right. So as you can see, this is his hair. His hair's a little longer in the back. I'm probably gonna give him a trim. Give him a little haircut. Things off his wrist here. Okay. So you can see this is the plush Chucky. Okay, so uh, Trick or Treat sent them a little early apparently. I've seen some reviews online from uh, you know people reviewing them already from Trick or Treat directly. I got it from Nightmare Toys though. So they got them I think a week later, a few days ago. Chrissy had a, a podcast on the channel and uh, said that they just got them in. So, I just got them today, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Ooh, well, Chucky lost his, his sticker. Then I'm going to count it here. 
So since we have this sneaker off of one of them, it's actually like a plastic, I believe it's vinyl, the material, with the real laces that say good guys. See? All right. This feet, unfortunately, unlike the, actually, I'm not sure if the $500 doll has real plastic feet or not. I don't remember. But this one doesn't, it's just kind of like a, a shaped foot that is uh, <clears throat> essentially shaped foot pillow, if you want to call it that. Just stuffing it back in there now. It's a little annoying, not gonna lie. That is not that easy to get in, but there, got to really stuff it in there. Okay, so we got him on the counter here. I'm gonna do the ritual off camera. Adi dui dambala. No, get it off. All right, so this is him, and it smells good. Yeah, it's got that new smell, so. As you can see, the overalls, I'm gonna fix the back here. So he's very plushy, very soft, but he does have like this main thing, like right in the middle here, that's attached to the head, which is kind of weird. But I guess that's to keep them still if you want to sit them up. See? And kind of sit them up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I would just lean them up against something and then, you know, if you, if you want to pose them, maybe just drop them. You know, it's not going to damage them too much. So, uh, yeah, here's his uh, shirt. The back, you can see, you can actually... It's Velcro, so... In the back here, it says... Universal City Studios, LLC, so... It's a first. None of the other dolls have that, to my knowledge. So, yeah, I'm just going to, uh... You can fix this, because everybody... Likes to fix this thing. It's supposed to be crisscross. Instead of, uh, you know, just straight like that. All right. So I'm going to do that. All right. I'll just stuff his shirt back in. There. That's more accurate. All right. So as you can see, the mold is 100% movie accurate. The head is nice firm vinyl. Doesn't twist unfortunately since it's uh, it's kind of sewn in there. So you can't turn his head. That kind of sucks, but it's whatever, right? So it's almost like it feels like a firm piece that's attached to his head here. It goes all the way down his body to his butt. I suppose it's easier to like if you want to sit him up against something, you know. His shoes have, the sneakers have the designs on it. It's like the movies, so that's cool. The overalls have the nice designs. It has a pocket here. It's definitely like a cheaper material, as everybody else who reviewed this doll has said, compared to the uh, was it corduroy, I think, on the, the $500 doll. These feel like more like, uh, I don't know, it feels like something you would get in like a dollar store, Jembro type of cloth or something, you know. And underneath, it's cotton again, but the solid piece, actually. Let me see if you can move the wrist. You can move the wrist, actually. So this is something I've noticed nobody really has done yet in the reviews. But if you hold this piece here, part that it's stitched to, you could actually move the wrist. So that's cool. Did not know you could do that. Interesting how the head doesn't move. Yeah. Yeah, the head is this size. That's not going to move. But the hands do move. So if you want to pose his hands a certain way, you can do that. I don't know why they didn't do that with the head, you know. 
Whatever. Okay, so it's very plushy, squishable. I didn't expect this piece to go all the way down the whole body, uh, but it's whatever, you know, like I said, it's not a game, a game changer or anything like that, deal breaker. Very flabby, um, 30 inches tall. The hair is long, like I said. I think that's sort of people want to cut it, but I'm definitely going to cut, give this guy a little haircut. Um, it's a wig, so you can see the piece right on there. It's glued there, so people want to remove it and get a, a different wig. This hair is like a little straighter than usual, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to style it and cut it. The other one, I have another doll over there too, so I got two of these. Um, yeah. Now, let's see, let me just see where I am. This thing here. 11 minutes, alright. Pay, oh yeah, everything else is, um, because this is, these are $200 dolls, so they're going to be, they're a lot cheaper than the $500, so. The mold is accurate, Garrison worked on these, 100% perfect. See the teeth, the smile, painted eyes instead of inserted eyes. But I mean, amazing paint job. <clears throat> Hand molds are the same. Definitely looks much better in person, like everybody says. The pictures don't really do it justice. Once you get this thing in your hand, it's, it's awesome. You know? Much lighter than the five hundred dollar doll. If you just want to carry it around like that, with red doll. Movies, yeah. Right. Yeah, I have no complaints. Definitely worth uh, 200 bucks plus, you know, what I like about Nightmare Toys is uh, once you get $100, you get free shipping, which is extremely helpful if you're, uh, <laughs> very helpful if you're trying to, you know, if you're on a tight budget. If you get this from Trick or Treat Studios directly, they don't unfortunately give you any deals on the shipping, so uh, you pretty much, uh, I, I saved 80 bucks because of that. But also Nightmare Toys are awesome, you know, I love supporting them. I like Trick or Treat too, it's just, you know, I, I like to weigh my options when I'm on a tight budget, you know. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, the pins here, the button, let's see. They are sewn in, so they are not like a normal button where, you know, you can just unbutton it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it really for the push. I rate this guy 10 out of 10, you know. But before I conclude the video, I'm going to do a little comparison now. Alright. So, like I said, this is pretty awesome. Totally worth it if you're looking for, if you're on a tighter budget and you need to, uh, you really want a, ch a good guy doll or Chucky. This is the five hundred dollar doll. So as you can see, I got both of them here. Five hundred dollar doll, two hundred dollar doll. See the differences right off the bat. So. $500 Chucky, much higher quality, uh, different paint job, you know, he's got like the, uh, the more orange look to him, more accurate haircut, some people complain about the hair on the $500 dollars, I, mine was perfect, perfect length, I didn't have to trim it, style it, nothing, that's really how he looks, how he came, this one however was a little bit more a uh, little different, you know, showing more forehead and the hairs all over in the back, obviously, so I can see that. The colors are brighter than this one. This one's opposable. This one isn't. This is a plush. And this one is more stiff because he's opposable. See? If I go like that, they'll stay like that. 
So this one, like I said, it's a thicker corduroy, almost like a, a very thick cotton, very much better quality here. The pocket, <clears throat> the real shoelaces, same design on the on sneakers. With the, and this one you can move the head. See, from a certain direction. So yeah, you got the press cross in the back. So this one's obviously much higher quality doll. But again, if you're on a budget, then uh, definitely go for this guy here, you know. All right, so now what I'm going to do, this is, I, this is in the box that, uh, that this doll came in. This came in um, a different Kickstarter box, a different box in general, but I got the Kickstarter version. But I'm going to put the plush doll in the actual box. So this box, I keep the $500 Chucky in the movie accurate box, so I'm going to do that right now for you, just to see how the push Chucky will look in the box, alright, okay. He doesn't really stand as, as well since he has the. Uh, <laughs> he's not really stiff, you know. He's posable. Oh. Wow, he's just sinking in there. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how he looks in the, what do you call it, the movie accurate size box. <laughs> yeah, he's way short, he just kind of sinks, so if you want to put your doll in a box like this, um, I don't know what I'd recommend. Maybe put something else in there to kind of sit him up, I, I, I'm not sure. But just for I show you guys for comparison. Just uh, fix his hand again. Twist him. All right. So yeah, that's the comparison there. Tell me which one you guys like better. You know, you got the five hundred dollar doll, and you got the uh, two hundred dollar plus Chucky doll. So just go to put him back in here. Also, the $500 off the back, he's got the inserted eyes. I don't know if you can tell. You really, you really can't tell. I mean, you can up close in person, but... They did such a great paint job with the, the $200 doll. Honestly, I think unless you told somebody, they really wouldn't notice, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so there's Chucky. <clears throat> $500. Plus Chucky, two hundred dollars. There's also a button in the back here. So the push Chucky will say something if you push it. Let's see. Hold on, where is it? I'm Pete. What's your name? I'm Chucky. Hi, ho. I'm your friend to the end. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah, that's just me. There's no button. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, what do you, you know, trying to remember what, what, do you, what do you say in the movies, you know? I'm so tired right now. I just, I just really want to move it, uh, you know, give you guys a cool review of this. You know, it's, uh, I don't know, just a really cool doll, you know, like, this video is like, what, 15 minutes right now? Or oh, 19 minutes, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So, tell me your thoughts on this doll. I just wanted to give you guys a really extensive review. Super excited, like I said, I got another one over there. 
and uh, I'll definitely be giving this guy a haircut. Excuse me. A little trim, like this guy, to be more screen accurate. <clears throat> The one issue that I've seen some people have is with his overalls. They're not, they don't really fit him smoothly, you know? I mean, they don't fit him that well. Like, it's kind of like you gotta do a little bit of uh, maneuvering if you want him to. But I mean, or, you know, some people could just buy the classic clothes on Etsy, the more high quality, and just change them up. You could take his clothes off, no problem, and just put those right on this one if you want. But this is a great value for uh, 200 bucks. Like I said, I know it may sound expensive for some people for a doll, but I gotta remember this is like a good guy replica that a lot of fans want as an alternative, a good option, uh, as opposed to the $500 guy over here, which is gonna cost you a lot of money. So, yeah. I mean, the only way this could be better, honestly, would be if uh, they put a posable armature wire in there, like this guy. So he's plush and posable, but uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future, Trick or Treat will uh, do something like that. Like, uh, I think that's how they do the custom dolls. You know, like Chucky Belgium and I think Garrett Zima. But obviously, those are custom made, so you're gonna be paying a lot more for those, but they'll, those guys will deliver your super top quality dolls and they do exactly what you want. All right, I'm gonna conclude this video now, guys, so. Tell me your thoughts, uh, try and think if I forgot anything, I don't think, I pretty much covered everything, so, yeah, I would definitely, I think they're sold out now, but if you guys want one of these, um, keep an eye out, Trick or Treat Studios and NightmareToys.com, I'd recommend Nightmare Toys, they're awesome, bought some things from there already, very friendly too, um, they give you an email too, they give you, uh, they'll send you, um, an email telling you when your shipment's being sent, which I really appreciate. That's awesome. Not everybody does that. So, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Tell me your thoughts on this and uh, what you thought of the plush Chucky versus the $500 Chucky. Say bye, Chucky.